Well, Mahendra Singh Dhoni did a fantastic job as captain. So, um, for me, nine out of ten to Dhoni as captain of CSK. I'm taking one point away uh, because I thought, uh, you know, this uh, the backing of Shane Watson was a bit too much. I can understand eventually Watson will get some run, but it's a little unfair for people who are in the reserves and trying to get in. They'll be wondering when will I get my opportunity because it seems like whatever happens. Uh, Watson keeps getting games, so one point I've deducted from Dhoni's, um, you know, score sheet or mark sheet. So it's uh, nine out of ten to Dhoni, the captain. Rohit Sharma has been around for a long time. Very reliable, balanced captain. Doesn't make too many major mistakes and knows how to handle some of the big guns in the team. This team continues to reach. Uh, the late stages of the IPL now you might say that if they've got some quality players but there have been teams in the past with quality players um, I just like the way he conducts the business out there looks very relaxed I've done a few tosses with him looks very relaxed uh, uh, at the uh, toss before the game begins and I like the way he is sort of use Hardik Pandya for little cameos maybe Pollard could have been better used and I also like the team selection getting somebody like Chahar, Chahar inside the team backing, backing Surya Kumar Yadav who eventually delivered in the playoffs and you know getting the best out of Ishan Kishan and all those guys so I thought he did really well as captain and that's why I'm going to give Rohit Sharma 8 out of 10 well I think if Ashwin I would say 7 out of 10 because the team didn't do too well but I really think that Ashwin as player and captain is an excellent package for owners to bid for because he just adds more value to the team as captain. He always had interesting views on the game and you can see those playing out in his team selections and tactics. I like him in the sense that there's always some thought going on in every move and every team selection. People have criticized him for the numerous selections that he's made but that also as he said, was because of the injuries that uh, his team, uh, his players kept uh, getting right through the season. He had about 14 players injured, that's what he said. So let's take his word for it. But I see uh, a very interesting leader who is not just run of the mill and would let things just go on its own. So I'm going to give Ashwin 7 out of 10 as captain of Kings Eleven Punjab. Rajasthan Royals had a combination of Ajinkya Rane and Steve Smith. Ajinkya Rane was terribly disappointed as captain, a little too meek. And the most important uh, you know, mistake that he made as captain was not pushing himself to bat quicker and batting at the same position and getting Rajasthan Royals off to a sluggish start which seemed to affect the mood of the entire team. So as captain, Ajinkya Rane, I would get 5 out of 10. Steve Smith, I thought, made the team look a little better. So, uh, Steve Smith, I would say 6 out of 10 as captain for Rajasthan Royals. Virat Kohli, I'm going to say 6 out of 10 because uh, he's been around for a while now for RCB and he's had some you know, good players around, especially in the batting department. But most of the points that I've deducted of Virat Kohli has been because of the team selections or maybe picking the players at the auction. Picking people like Mohamed Siraj, uh, Umesh Yadav and Pavan Negi uh, in your team as part of your core bowling group, I think just uh, you know boggles your mind because these are all such risky options in D20 cricket. But somehow Virat Kohli seems to be fascinated by them and eventually it was proved. Siraj was dropped for the last few games. Pavan Negi has never quite shown you know, that he can add value as a left-arm spinner and Umesh Yadav as well. Now, because these guys, uh, at least a couple of seam bowlers, had a good last season, I think Virat Kohli backed them this season as well. But that is where Dhoni is very smart. He knows when somebody is good and when somebody has just had one good year. Kane Williamson and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar were the leadership combination for Sunrise Hyderabad. Bhuvi, I thought, uh, filled David Warner's boots quite nicely. And before Kane Williamson came in and uh, took over, one of the most selfless captains that you'll see in T20 cricket, despite being such a class player, he was happy to sacrifice his own batting position for the betterment of the team. And uh, a sound uh, uh, captain, but on occasion, he thought that he was a little too safe uh, and uh, wasn't willing to. Uh, you know, think out of the box on occasions. So uh, I would give him 7 out of 10 as captain, Ken Williamson. 
But Shreya Saya looked really lost and confused last year when the captaincy was suddenly thrust on him with Gautam Gambhir leaving Delhi capital. But this time around looked a lot more settled. His team also started playing well. Ricky Ponting was at his beck and call. You know, he was like his uh, uh, mentor on the field in spirit, I guess. And I there was a lot of communication from the dugout as well. So. Shreyas Iyer, 8 out of 10, not just because his team did well. I thought in uh, tight situations as well, uh, this time round, you could see that Shreyas Iyer was the captain. Last year, we saw the bowlers set their fields on their own. Shreyas Iyer was quietly standing in one corner. It was difficult to recognize him as a captain on the field. This time, it was a lot easier to see who the captain was and looked very relaxed. And in the end, of course, you're judged by your results. And the results were excellent for Delhi Capitals. So, Shreya Sayyar, 8 out of 10 as captain of Delhi Capitals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.